Hey guys, the Reverend Worm here, and today I'm going to be doing something pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to make this redstone adder, which is basically just a little calculator. Uh, this is the design off of the Minecraft.net wiki, which currently has a note attached to it saying it doesn't work, but it actually does. Um, one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus eight is sixteen. It it works fine. That uh, it's a really simple calculator and it's expandable up to however much you want, however <laughs> big you want to build it. So, yeah, I'm going to show you exactly how to get this thing working perfectly. You want to start off by doing this. Place three blocks in a row. And add redstone there. That's your first set of inputs. On the front of this, just place three torches. Add two more blocks. And redstone coming out the front. Now, the next layer. Place three blocks here. And torches here and here and connect them in the middle with redstone. And on the front, place a torch here, and redstone here, and here. Now for the next layer, add your blocks here, here, and here. And also, add blocks like that. And take that one out. Now, place a torch there and connect redstone all the way down. Now, congratulations, you've just finished building a half adder. It's the first step in building a 4-bit adder. Here, as I said, will be the first two inputs, but I'll cover that later because it's a little tricky. Next, we'll move on to building the full adder, which isn't that much harder. Okay, the first step is connecting this redstone here and placing three blocks, like so. Here is your first input for this adder. And go ahead and add another one right here, skipping one space in between. As for this, it gets three torches on the front, a block here and here, and some redstone. Now, at this point, you want to put three more blocks with three more torches on the front. Okay. Then add blocks here and redstone. Now, you can take this input and connect it just like so to here. Now for the next step, you want to add blocks here, here, and here. It's a lot like the half adder we've just made, except now you want to put blocks here and here as well. So those three and then two more here. 
Now as for this, you connect it exactly the same way. Two torches, one bit of redstone here, and on the front, two bits of redstone, and one torch. As for this, do the same. Block here, here, here. Torches. And the redstone here. Okay, now come back to here. You're going to want to put blocks here, here, and there. Now on this, put a torch there and connect that with redstone. So place a block there. Now for the final step of this section, you want to place a block here with one torch on the front and redstone across the top. And in front of that, directly in front of that torch, on this piece of redstone, place a block here. and like this. And for that, place a redstone torch here. Connect this with redstone. And place a redstone torch here. And connect it all together there. Now, this is the full adder completed. So we have one half adder and one full adder. The next step is to add another full adder right here in the exact same way we've done this one. So you can go back and watch those steps again and build it exactly the same way. You want to build for a 4-bit adder, just two more. But you can build as many as you want, and you will keep adding digits to your calculator. Okay, guys, now that we have all of our adders stacked up, hang on a second, let me make it daytime. Oh, okay. Now, we have our half adder and one, two, three full adders. Now, as for this last carry out, we have to do this. On the very last one, place a torch and a line coming out from it. That's another output that will show the next digit. Okay, now for the inputs. As you can see, each input line gets its own switch. These two connected to the half adder represent the one. The next two represent twos. Each one represents a two. Each one of these represents a four and each one of these is 8. Now, to do this correctly on your half adder, you have to reverse or inverse the second input. The first one stays normal, but the second input on the half adder has to be reversed. Now, for your full adder, it's just the opposite. The first input has to be reversed, and the second one has to be left alone. 
it will not work properly if these inputs aren't done and this isn't written out very clear on the wiki and I think this is where people are messing it up so there that should work properly now as for outputs I like to do this place a block and a torch on it and on top of that another block and a torch that way the torch is off and will light up when the signal is sent you could leave it alone have it I've seen people have their indicators just wires but if you want to use torches this is how you do it now let me finish this up and we'll see if it works okay here it is all put together now if this works properly this should say one right here number one one and one makes uh oh what did we do wrong what did I do wrong okay hey guys it seems that somewhere in building this I accidentally knocked out this one little piece of redstone here and that screwed the whole thing up see that kinda shows the importance of doing everything just right one little piece just broke the whole thing but now if I try to add one and one I get two two and two is four four and two you would read four plus two six it's actually in binary but if you don't know binary okay the lights show one two four eight and sixteen and each of these inputs these are both ones twos fours and eights and um, basically that's it guys if you follow these instructions properly you have a 4-bit binary calculator that really is completely useless <laughs> but it's a fun build and you can hook this up to other things I've seen people have created redstone uh, screens that actually print out digits and I haven't tried one of those yet but that looks really complicated um, but this this really isn't that complicated once you get it when, once you've built one or two it you should be able to pump them out just it, for whatever reason you would want to but um basically to expand it just add full adders on and on and on until you can't stand it anymore and each one um, doubles the previous digits so 8, 16, uh, what, what, 16 times 2 whatever that is I am bad bad with math um, I guess that's why I need a calculator for such simple problems <laughs> well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that um, whoever says the schematics on the wiki are wrong uh, changes that because they aren't and uh, well I yeah, good luck good luck building one of these things if you have any questions comments uh, need any help putting one of these together just feel free to ask alright guys that's all from me later